Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Friday. It's March 24th, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. You guys know that I'm based in Miami. So let me do a quick review. Since it's Friday, you guys know that I don't follow the market too much on Friday. Okay? You, you guys already know. But let me give a preview. I also put in the WhatsApp group. You know that uh, I'm expecting since last week, 2950, 2960, but with a possibility to go up to 3,707. Oh, up to 3,797. Because the big order of this week is this line 2,231. 2, it was a 12 million dollars orders that you know I create. You guys know that I, I always put like a magic number in the market to up based on the biggest order that you print in Dark Pool. So the biggest order was this one. We don't know if they bought or they sell. Looks like that they sold those puts. So, but we don't know. We will know only today. And then the magic number is 3,797, 3,800 basically. Okay. <coughs> but I'm more looking for 3,883, 10 points spread, 3,873, 60, something like that today. Okay. And if they want to squeeze, squeeze up to where the magneto it is, as I put in the group. Okay, let me put the 02 DTE here, gamma, uh, gross gamma 02 DTE. If they want to, oh, this already changed a lot. Let me, this already changed a lot. A lot. The, the last time that I saw wasn't this. Let, let me put the gross gamma. That's much better. So, the magneto 3995, we have, you know, first resistance at 3944. And the support 3,900, uh, 3, okay? So if they want to squeeze 3,950, that's, you know, where we have, you know, basically some gamma over here. So if they want to squeeze maximum 3,950, I'm not seeing this coming back to 4K. Also, I explained you guys yesterday about... Uh, 4,050 that, you know, uh, people in the in the open group start to say, oh, I'm looking to short ES yes, at 4,050. And I told you guys, why are you guys, you know, looking for this level? Explain me why. You know, how you guys, you know, define the level. And I told you guys 4,020, remember? Máximo 4,030. Why? Because you have positive gum starting to 3,909 and go up to 4,065. To, to, to here 4065. So when you have positive gum in that region, what they mean, what this means, maker will sell. Remember, positive gamma sell is strange by weakness, different, different than negative gamma. Sell is strange by halis, by sorry, sell weakness by strength, by halis, because that you will see a big squeeze when we are in a negative gamma. And of course, we start to see crash when we are in a positive gamma. I always told you guys, we will not see a crash this week. We will not see a crash because you have a lot of negative gamma. You know, the setup is to squeeze, Gavana and Charm, okay? And why I ask 4,055, you guys, a lot? Why are you guys seeing this? And you guys didn't re reply me. So as soon as you see a negative gamma, a positive gamma from 3,920 up to 4,065, and in the fact that we, they were unable to bring us up to 4,050, it's done. It's already done. You know, the gamma show us that we see weakness because they are delta hedge from 3,909 up to 4,065. They will sell Halis. And what's happening? They bring back to a negative gamma. Crash happens, you know, when we are in a positive gamma. Usually big drops and also crash. Of course, crash could you ha happen in, in a negative gamma? Yes, especially if the market starts to buy a lot of puts. I mean, makers, not retailers. Okay? And when they take the liquidity out of the market. They have been taking the liquidity out of the market since, uh, since March. And especially, so, sorry, since January. And especially this, this month, they locked the market between 3,950 and 3,990. That explains you guys that they are removing liquidity. Okay? Two options. To Gamma, to Vana, to Char. Okay? So basically, they remove liquidity. So now, if they want to move the market, it's getting more easy because the market is running out of liquidity. You guys understand? So, are you guys, I already give you guys, you know, 
uh, about the levels of today. Okay, I do not look for the uh, for, for market too much today. I'm putting like the trend view to guys to understand where the gamma it is. You know, uh, the the negative GX is located at 3,800. Since we will start, we will open below 3,918. The the vacuums are already turned on, and you suck us at least up to 3,800. This is you know the setup. We don't need to go over there. So as soon as you start to go, for example, 3,800, uh, what I said, 3,883, 3,803, 3,806, 3,830. Now we're supposed to be, you're supposed to be see delta sprinting going higher. So. Well, people that's a long bulls will you defend 3800 that's where we have negative gamma okay so negative gamma 3800 co tmp 3918 the negative transition is 3980 the zero gamma is 4k core employee is also 4k and when we start the, the calls start to be in the money that you call co tmp is 4023 and the positive the positive you know, turn, uh, transition is 4,070, positive gamma 4,200, uh, 4, okay? So this is the current current gamma that we have in SP500. Just, you know, to let you guys know, so you guys can, you know, mount your graph using the gamma levels. Okay, guys, uh, remember, make it still providing gasoline to retail. Since, you know, the, the DX, Jump for 50%, and now you have a huge gamma. Means CTAs bought, you know, CTAs bought, and consequently, you know, the movement will be unidirectional. If they decide to go down, you go down. If they decide to go up, you go up because you have huge gamma, you know, positive huge gamma. It's around, around like 1 billion, if I'm not wrong. Okay, guys, so. Look for 3,830, 3,883, 10 points spread, like 3,820 or maybe 3,873. This is supposed to be the support. Could you be getting ugly because the $12 million order? We don't know yet if they bought or if they sold. Where, where it is? It's everything in the spread, line 2,231. So, I'm still looking for this level, that's totally possible. All the levels is SPX, not ES. So, could you go there? Yes, 10 points spread, 3,787. But could you be a sell? So, if you was a sell, I'm looking for 3,800, 3,820, 3,806, 17, according to the spreadsheet, especially the, the last order that printed yesterday. Okay, if they want to squeeze up only up to 3,950. Okay, guys, enjoy your Friday. We come back, you know. I try to, to, to watch the market, you know, a little bit today, but you guys know that usually Friday I don't I don't even stop by to look market. I do my my full-time jobs, uh, my, my full-time job, not jobs in plural, just single. You guys know that, you know, market's just my hobby because I, will, I work in a trade desk before and I'm still in my blood, but I have my job. And usually Friday, I focus in my job and I don't like market because it's, you know, guys, it's all packs, uh, lack of liquidity, make it do whatever they want. But the trend is to go downtrend. Fab, do you believe in crash? Yes, I believe in crash. And if the crash happens, need to be between next month and May. Cannot pass by this. By, by this. Also, because the solstice starts in June, end of June, usually the polarity change in the market starts to go up. But remember, that's easy. The, call, the, 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 the crash call is easy. I'm not, I'm not telling you, guarantee that the market will crash. But why the call is easy? Because the dividend yields of the SP500 is 1%, 1.2. And if you go to any money market or any saving accounts, they pay 4%. So make smart money is not buy market. You not buy equity because they because don't have any premium. It's much better to hold cash, cash and receive four percent. So to start to buy cash, we need to see a correction, a correction from the current level at least for thirty percent. Then the dividend dividend yields will be like almost the same as money market and saving accounts, and consequently will be attractive to buy equity again. Otherwise, it's not money, money, smart money. We they will they will only buy as soon we see a big correction otherwise they will not buy that's poor mathematics it's kind of ibovespa a lot of people will buy ibovespa the bottom in march the bottom is in march the bottom in march 
People are crazy, it's totally nuts. But Ibovespa is the same. The dividend yields in Ibovespa is 4%. The, the Selic, you know, is paying 13.5%. The discrepancy is too high. It's, it's, it's pure math. It's pure math. Or people that's trying to find a bottle without understanding mathematics, you be you you got screwed. Hope you guys understand that. So Ibovespa need to correct at least to 65,000 or 75,000, something like that. You know, below, I mean, around, below 75, you know, start to buy Ibovespa because the dividend yields from Ibovespa is going almost the same as the Selic. So you be start to be attractive to buy Brazil as well. Hope you guys understand that it's poor mathematics. And when you buy Brazil, as soon as you see in the TV, oh, the CDS of Brazil melt up. You know, Brazil is a big risk by Brazil. No, that's very easy. Brazil is the easy market because, you know, we cannot monitor day by day because they don't have options, you know, and, and don't have too much liquidity. So the two, three players that they have over there, you know, they, they can control the market wherever they want, you know. So easy to buy Brazil. Look to for the TV, op, uh, turn in the, the channel four, the TV Globo, look for Miriam Leitão and wait her to say, oh, the CDS is blow up, you will be fucked up. So buy Brazil. So you'll be, you'll be easy to identify when you buy Brazil. Okay? Guys, take care. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your Friday. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend.